How's it going everybody with Music City Drive-In YouTube channel? My name is Jack. I'm a writer for the Music City Drive-In and today is another Bite Size Film Review with Jack and we are reviewing the newest film from David Lowry and A24 starring Dev Patel, The Green Knight. A film that I am so excited to talk about because I really, truly loved it. So, this is a Bite Size Review. It's going to be about three to four minutes. not going to meander. going to give my quick review and then we will be on our happy, merry way. This is the most beautiful film of the year. Nothing's going to top it. This is it. The cinematography is absolutely incredible. David Lowry's direction and shot composition is to die for. This is an immersive experience of an epic of a film. On top of the cinematography and the direction, the sound design is absolutely incredible. I think it should be up for Oscars. We will see. There's still a lot of year left. And the score also really complements this film well. I think it's just it's just a character in itself. It brings the tension. It brings the right emotions at the right time. The score is something to look out for. I think it's highly underrated. Dev Patel gives a best of career performance. It's best of career performance status is kind of how I would classify it. I think... He brings such a great, grand, you know, grand presence to this character, but also a very intimate, you know, broken character as well inside of this. He brings a lot of different layers as Sir Gawain. Absolutely incredible. He deserves all the credit in the world. This was not an easy, not an easy role from what we saw on screen. And he brought it and just absolutely destroyed it. This film, the thing that this film does well is it is grand and epic. This is based off of a classic Arthurian tale of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. It's epic and grand in its scale, and that is all. That is awesome. I really enjoyed it. But at the same time, it is also small and intimate in its themes that are just underlying the main story. Themes about life, themes about humanity, themes about what we want to get out of life. What is worth living for and and they may not click for you until the end of the movie but when they do it is resounding and that is the experience i had for a lot of the movie it does meander that's like the one negative i'll give it this movie's really damn good so the only negative i'm going to give it is it does meander at times but again it's based off of the the arthurian tale so i get it there's some side quests and stories so i don't really knock at that many points but I, while that was happening, I was trying to examine in this film, what is this about? What are we trying to achieve here? What themes are they trying to have us walk out of the theater with? We don't really get that till the end of the movie, but it ties everything in the movie together. So instead of that being like, a, oh, we had to wait and waste our time through this movie to just get to this. No, it brought everything together in a good way. Um, and I really enjoyed that. And that's credit to the writing and, and, and the direction of the performances as well to, to bring those small intimate themes to life while also keeping the grand epic scale of this tale. Absolutely well done. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, that's my review. My final thoughts. One of the most beautiful films of the year. Fantastic direction by David Lowry with some of the best sound design and one of the best scores of the year as well. We have a best of career performance level status for Dev Patel here. And the film does a great job with the writing and the direction and ever, really everything at making it big and epic and grand while also having small, intimate, subtle themes that are just below the surface that if you really examine them are very impactful and leave you wanting more. I really enjoyed this film. I gave it a 96 out of 100. It is in my top five of the year. I've seen 95, 99 films this year that have come out this year so to be in the top five it's got to be really damn good 96 out of 100 five out of five stars go check it out if you have not already it is in theaters it is wide released y'all should go check it out if you've not it's not for everyone there is a, it is a very slow burn and people may not love that but if you like indie films if you like art house films this is the film for you but guys that is pretty much it. i want to thank you all so much for checking out the Music City Driving YouTube channel, we finally hit 300 subscribers. Y'all are the real ones, which is awesome. But keep subscribing. We're trying to build this YouTube channel from the ground up. You can find my full Green Knight review up on my YouTube channel. The link will be down below in the description. If you want to find me on social media, those links will be down below in the description as well. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. Again, subscribe if you have not already. Have a rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next Bite Size Review.